this is Owen from uh, Primal RC, and today we're going to be showing you how to install our new shock uh, rebuild kit that adds a new seal onto the bottom of the shocks. This will be released very soon, and it helps prevent all leaks from our new V3 shocks with the 10 millimeter shaft. So you can see this is a new uh, shock cap on the end. Here's the old one for reference. So these new shock caps they end up limiting the travel. They reduce the travel of the shock by about five millimeters, but they add this new seal that is um, designed to block oil. It's actually a rotary seal, but it has a spring on the inside here, it's pretty hard to see, that keeps tension on the seal. And the tolerances of these are pretty tight, but this helps prevent all leaks from our shocks. So we came out with this upgrade to just prevent all leaks. And if you already have the upgraded V4 seals, um, those work, but we've actually also still found leaks with those. So this is a uh, solution to stop all leaks from uh, any V3 shocks. And then here you can see what they also look like when they're installed on a shock with a spring. So again, they do limit the travel by about five millimeters, but um, when you get all the way down to the bottom of the compression, you're uh, probably jumping pretty high at that point. So. Losing five millimeters is not that big of a deal. So today we'll show you how to install them on a shock that doesn't have one yet. So here you can see this one has the old version. And then included in the kit is just three pieces. So there's three parts. Uh, per shock you need these three parts. So we have the new end cap, we have the new seal, and then we have a new uh, washer that is missing. We had to remove the uh, lip on the one side so that it can mount flush on the new seal. So the first thing you have to do is remove the spring, which is done by removing this end cap. So we take this off. And then if your shocks were also leaking already, um, it's a good idea to just clean off any of the oil. Okay, so this is all cleaned off. Now, the, the way we are going to install this kit, you actually don't need to drain the oil or remove the top shock cap at all. You can do everything through the bottom cap, and we also have to remove the shock end. So the easiest way I found to remove these is to first just unscrew the uh, plastic bushing that holds the ball end. So we unscrew this. We'll keep that here. And now we just have the uh, aluminum part that's threaded onto the 10 millimeter shaft. So ideally, um, we're gonna have to put this in a vise. I tried using shock pliers, but the shock pliers are too small for this large of a shaft. So I'm gonna use a vise. Ideally, you would have either some uh, wooden jaws or some copper jaws, but um, these jaws will end up scratching the shaft a little bit. So what I do is I keep the shock I keep the shock as far down on the vise as possible so that we end up, if we, if we do scratch the shock, it's going to scratch it all the way at the bottom and that's where the shock is the least of the time. So there we go. Now it's pretty tight and then this just loosens. I put some electrical tape here onto the shock end, or sorry, I put some electrical tape on the shock pliers and then I can unscrew the end. These have a decent amount of thread lock, so they are pretty tight. Okay, so that thread's off. You can see all the Loctite that was on there. And then this comes out of the vise. So this one we actually didn't scratch too bad, so this, sh this should be perfectly fine. All right, so. The next thing is we, we now we remove the shock end. So now we can take the cap off easily. And this is actually a 24 millimeter hex, so you can use your wheel nut wrench. And this is, um, it shouldn't be very tight. So there we go. This comes off. And then you can still keep this um, if you wanted to go back to using the old seals. And then this is the washer that we're also replacing. You can see that comes off. And then one thing you want to do is just check the seal here is mounted correctly. Um, you can see that this one was actually reversed. So the, the V, these are a V ring seal. 
So they are directional. Um, this is the actually the top of the seal and this is the bottom of the seal. So we want the V facing up. So right now our shock is actually upside down. I, I'm keeping the shock upside down so that all the oil doesn't drain out since we're taking the seals out. But essentially you want that V facing up. So I'm actually gonna flip this seal around push it all the way down and then you also you might when you're doing this some oil might come out because the shock the shock is like slightly pressurized so it's actually depressurizing right now because we removed the seal and so that's why some oil comes out anyway next we put the uh, the new spacer on the lip faces this seal and basically we want the the entire flat side facing out so now that's down and that is holding that seal in and now we can put the new seal on. Now these seals have a super tight tolerance so they're pretty difficult to press on and you really want to make sure that you press it on without damaging the seal. So what I do is I use just a little bit of grease and this is just um, some high temperature lithium grease but marine grease or any type of grease will work here and then I'm just putting it around the shock shaft so that it'll make getting the seal over this lip a little bit easier. Now these are also directional and this is really important. Um, this side of the seal is designed to prevent oil from leaking and then this side of the seal is actually designed to scrape dirt off of the shock shaft. So this is the outside, we want this facing the outside of the, the shock and this faces the inside to prevent the oil from coming out. So it goes on essentially like this in the end. So here we go. Just hold the shock shaft and then this presses on and there you go. So this is the correct orientation and you can already see that this seal is already wiping all of that grease off of the shock. So you can see all the grease and it's just, it's wiping, it cleans everything. It keeps all the oil on this side and it keeps all the dirt on this side. So now we have the seal pressed into place and then I'm going to add more grease on the outside of the seal now so that when we go to install the shock cap it also presses into the shock cap nicely. The other way you can do this is by putting the seal into the shock cap but the tolerance is so tight it's easier to do it this way. So we have our whole stack and now we can put the shock cap on. And this should not be very difficult to thread on. It's just super simple. And then the last little bit, I used the uh, wheel nut wrench again. And you just go snug. You don't need to go super tight. So now you can see, here's our shock assembled. And there you can see the new seal uh, facing the right direction. So the last thing is to just put the shock cap, or sorry, the last thing is to just put the shock end back on. So we put it back in the vise. So I'm going to thread lock the shock end here. Just a little bit of blue Loctite. And there we go. And then this screws on. And then we just tighten it. You don't need to go crazy tight, but just enough. There we go. And then this can come out of the vise. So we have some extra Loctite there. There we go. And then the last thing is to just put the plastic bushing. If you broke your bushing or anything, we sell uh, replacements and extras of these on our website. And this goes in on this side of the shock end. You can see there's this groove cut in here and that's for this plastic spacer. So we just screw the spacer back in and this you don't need to use a tool for, it's just hand tight. And there we go, now our shock end is all together and this shock is ready to go with the uh, new seal installed and then we just have to put our spring back. There. So there we go. This has been a tutorial on how to install these new seals and they'll uh, prevent any future leaks. And then this seal is also designed to, if any dirt gets stuck on this shaft, it'll clean it off. And you should actually see a little buildup of dirt at the bottom of the shock. And then your shock shaft will be completely clean and you should feel no oil on the shock shaft and 
uh, these seals just work perfectly. They're meant for this application.